I did mention this last week, but with the Plains of Eidolon, there was, I think it's like one moment during the dev stream where they showed Rebecca take out a sniper rifle and it was just something that Steve said about, oh yes, these are going to become more useful, made it at something I hadn't thought of before that, which is why watching the dev streams, especially towards Plains of Eidolon, was a good idea. But yesterday, there was a post in the forums, which I will link in the description below, mentioning that, well, with the release of Plains of Eidolon, and it actually says most weapons will have a form of damage falloff added to reduce their effect effectiveness at extremely long distances. And it goes on to say, don't panic, blah, 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 blah. Basically what this means, and they did show a picture of the Corpus defense map. It can pop up on any Corpus defense mission. It, it is one of my favorite maps as well. It took me a second to figure out what the map was. It also comes up as an interception mission as well, which that one I don't particularly like because I think it's D is right in the middle at the bottom. And it's a pain to get from there to any of the sides. Anyway, they show this picture and it's 194 meters from one end, which is actually further away than where the pods spawn, if you're doing it on a defense mission, to the other side of the map. This was one of my favorite places to go to level up sniper rifles, and I didn't realize that it wasn't that far. I thought it was a greater distance than this. So when they say they are going to add extreme, well, it doesn't say extreme. Actually, it does. When they say they're adding damage fall off at extreme long distances, which is greater than 300 meters. Shotguns do not work at even this range in the image, which was 194 meters. Shotguns do not work there. So they're going to remain pretty much untouched. Rifles, uh, bows, every other kind of weapon can reach that distance depending on the accuracy of it, most of the time you won't even hit what you're aiming at. So at 300 meters, that is an insane distance. But once you get into the Plains of Eidolon, 300 meters isn't really going to be that far. They did mention that sniper rifles will be, where is it? They will be able to fire 600 meters without experiencing the fall off though. So the range of sniper rifles is probably going to be buffed a little bit, which is great because sniper rifles are going to be immensely useful in the Plains of Eidolon. But everything else will experience some damage fall off. The big question that I couldn't find an answer for in here is what about things that have projectile speed behind them? Things like the Bolto or basically any bone arrow because I was actually reading this and thought to myself, okay, you have an enemy, let's say 500 meters away, because it falls between the three and the six. Um, sniper rifle, you may have to aim a little bit high, depending on if they're going to add the fall off to the damage or fall off to the rounds, more than likely it's to the damage because it does say some form of damage fall off, but an arrow, falls to the ground before that anyway. So you have to aim slightly higher. And the projectile weapons have flight speed, so you aim at something, you go straight up, you shoot it, and you're gonna miss whatever you're aiming at. So I'd never thought of this when it comes to the Plains of Eidolon, but bone arrow trick shots are gonna be really, really fun to try and actually do and pull off. With this, the sniper rifles, I've always wanted to use them, I've mentioned it before. And the fact that they're not really messing with them too much, and they're adding the damage fall off for most weapons at anything over 300, and they've said this is going to, sniper rifles will be able to fire 600 meters without experiencing fall off, has me looking forward to this even more. It's time to dust off those sniper rifles and get them all set up for the Plains of Eidolon because when it does drop, 
it's gonna be the weapon to use a really good secondary and a really good sniper rifle and it really is building up more hype for this thing than anything else but you do have to be aware the damage fall off at range is going to be for most tile sets as well it's not just going to be for the planes of Eidolon it actually says in the forum post across all our current tile sets so that 300 meter range there's not a lot of tile existing ones that will be affected by it but some of them there will be up until 300 meters they should still work exactly as they do now though and again shotguns should remain completely unaffected by this because i don't think there's any shotguns that will shoot with accuracy at 300 meters anyway we'll leave this off here for now thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time